All right, Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakah Kadash. Uh, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and honors and citations to the elect Dachim, doing these works in sincerity and in truth. Okay, and um, in this lesson, you know, I'm going to just get uh, three quick scriptures on uh, fasting. All right. You know, brothers can't forget to fast. You know, I personally know it could be tough. Okay, from, 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 from different times, it could actually be tough to fast. But um, it's like working out, man. Once you get back in the groove, you know, it becomes easier and easier. You know, your mindset gets stronger and stronger for it. You know, you know, it could also start small. All right, but um, just to start, well, yeah, three, you know, quick scriptures on not forgetting the fast. All right, because it's very vital. Okay, for our for our salvation, for drawing near into Yahweh Bashem So this is Ezra, eight and twenty one. Says then I proclaimed a fast there, at the river of Ahava, that we might afflict ourselves before our power, to seek of Him. See. Now, you know, he's going to name one of the ways on why we should fast. Okay. And it says to seek. It says. It says to seek of him a right way for us and for our little ones and for all our substance. You see that? So fasting can uh, um, pretty much fasting is a cry for help. So yeah, how about Shemal Shai? It's afflicting your soul. Okay. And it's a major cry for help to Yahweh Bashem Ashad to help us. And in and in this instance, so that we can be revealed on the right choice that we should make. You see that? It says to seek of him a right way for us. Right. To see, you know, look, you, you could be stuck. Okay. To where it's something serious, man. To where uh, uh, casting a lot just won't do. All right. You could cast a lot, maybe on small things, but you could be stuck in a serious spot to where, look, man, you got to fast just so that your Habash Mashiach can give you the perfect decision to make. Okay, as Ezra did. See, this is why the scriptures say all things are written a full time for our learning. Okay, and that's why when, when Jacob's trouble comes, we might, the scriptures say we're going to eat. We're going we're gonna to have abundance. Let me just get that real quick. Um, yeah, Isaiah chapter uh, 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power. Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. OK, but we also got to prepare ourselves to be in that fasting mindset. Because, you know, the more the more we fast, the more Yahweh Shemashah will be dealing with us, giving us, you know, the right decisions to make and the right way to move. Okay, and in the same token as well, the scriptures say, then they shall know who are my chosen. All right, but we got to be ready. You know, just like how some of us will get spiritual powers, some of us is going to be martyrs. You know, so we got to what? Prepare for the uh prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Okay? So let me get another uh scripture. You know, just because it's very important to go over this from time to time, man. Just like, you know, the examine yourself topic. You know? This is a... Very important... Another very important one as well. Alright? Fasting. This is a Psalms chapter 35. Verses um, 13. It says, But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting. And my prayer returned into my own bosom. Okay. So you see how powerful fasting is, man. Fasting is that extra cry for help. To where Yahweh Bashmasha can receive your prayers even faster. And then in return. Or, or receive them even faster and give them unto you even faster, I should say. Okay. So you see how important fasting is, how beautiful it is, and how powerful it is. 
you receive your prayers even faster, man. Why? Because it says, I humble my soul with fasting. All right. He humbled his soul with fasting. Right now. um, Let's see what you have about Shemesh have to say about those that are humble. All right. Let's go to. Um, let's see what you have to say in Psalms. Some of the Psalms. All right. Let me uh, get a good one here. See? Um, uh, Proverbs, right? Proverbs chapter uh, 16, verse 19. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. See that? Oh, see? Ooh, Proverbs 29, 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Damn. See, so you're honorable. Somebody that is humble is somebody that is honorable. Okay? All right, so yeah, that's um probably even more. Oh yeah, damn, Kong, you have a shot coming through, man. This is a uh, Matthew chapter eighteen verse four, because this is him speaking. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So the more humble you could be, the more fucking greater you gonna be, man. But the more you wanna have pride and think you something when you ain't fucking nothing. The lower you gonna be, man. So you see, even what Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai himself said about those that are humble. You're the greatest in the kingdom. You're an honorable man. Going back to Psalm 35 and 13. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting. See that? And fasting is one of the ways to ultimately humble yourself. And then in return, we see. That those that are humble are going to be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven and are of an honorable spirit. And if you're honorable, you're in good standing with your Habashimah If you're in good standing with your Habashimah you're going to have the hedge about you. So nothing but good things is coming to those who, who are humble and to those that fast. See, so don't think you're, you're, you're fasting in vain. Don't think your fasting means nothing. Don't think that. Yeah, how about Shemashah ain't acknowledging that you fasting? You see? So let me get uh, one more. Just a quick little three scriptures, three for understanding. Well, this one ain't going to be quick. Because it reads, it reads on. It says, um, uh, Matthew chapter 17, verse 14, right? And when they were come to a multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son. For he is a lunatic and sore vexed. For oft times he falls into the fire and oft times into the water. You see that? And a lot of people see how Bashmasha understands, man. How Shah understands. A lot of people are going to want their kid, their kids to be saved during Jacob's trouble, their sons, their daughters, their family. Just like how. When Yahweh Shai walked the earth, they wanted their sons and their family and their daughters to be uh, 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 saved as well. But guess what? That's only going to come to those who are of the hopeful elect this time. All right? To even be considered. Verse 16. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Yahweh Shai answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Yahweh Shai rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Yahweh Shai apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. You see that? When we have our, when we have that faith, man, you know, nothing's gonna be impossible to us. We're gonna be caring our family members and so forth, all right. In that day, we're gonna receive spiritual powers in that day. But here's the point, verse twenty-one: Howbeit, this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting, man. You see that? So this demon 
was so fucking powerful to where the disciples couldn't even uh uh didn't even have enough faith to uh cast that demon out of him but it was so powerful to the point where the only way it could come out is by prayer and fasting man you know see fasting is that extra strength man fasting is that extra strength okay so now you know you can see the importance of fasting man fasting brings extra strength to your prayers extra faith to your prayers it shows that you're humble and we know what's coming to those that are humble so fasting is just something that you want to incorporate into your into your uh, life man you know once a week at least you know once every two weeks something man something man you gotta give something fasting is something that we have to incorporate in our lives man is major of uh, value okay to fasting you know it boosts our prayers it strengthens our prayers it shows our faith it shows we're humble we receive our prayers even faster you know so with that man all praises and glory to you how about shim out shine man by Shimra Kakadas. All right, Shalom.